Welcome back then. The Nifty is slowly moving towards the 8,300 mark, but definitely the action is in the mid-cap space. Pull up a few of those stocks. JSL Stainless should be up for you on the screen. Just take a look at that stock. It's taken off in the last uh, few minutes. Uh, it's moved to the high point of the day. So just pull up JSL Stainless. So we have uh, Indocount as well. That's doing rather well. So lesser known stocks are doing quite well. TVS Electric as well. That stock as well has spiked up. So just pull up some of these stocks. They've suddenly moved to the high point of the day in the last few minutes and a lot of these high beta stocks something like an hcc is doing well we have db relty as well that suddenly moved to the high point of the day so quite a bit of traction from the broader market stocks that have spiked up in the last few minutes or so but uh, let's get in our technical guest then we have samit chawan who joins in thanks so much uh, samit for joining in uh, this morning and we have our callers that are already stacked up so harish calls us from Ahmedabad. let's go straight to his query hi harish good morning good morning how can we help you sir uh, all right uh, okay Harish ji uh, Samit what's your take he's got it at around uh, 68 rupees uh, 69 rupees approximately um, in fact uh, he says that he's a long-term investor so that's uh, some solace that we can get from there uh, what's your take should he ho hold on to that stock or do you think uh, he should work out See, uh, post the demerger, uh, we have seen a uh, range bound movement in IDFC. It's been moving within a narrow range since then. Uh, yes, uh, today we are seeing a good traction in this counter. Uh, but going forward uh, for next few weeks or probably for next few months, we don't expect this stock to move beyond 70, 72. Uh, the, this, this particular level has become a major resistance. Uh, thus, uh, my suggestion would be to once the stock uh, uh, moves around uh, 70, 72, it's advisable to book. Uh, because there is a more, more possibility that the stock might uh, uh, undergo some kind of time-wise correction which might be for a few weeks or few months also. That's the view on IDFC. Up next, uh, we've got Anupam who calls us from Barabanki and he's got a question on Adani Enterprises. Hi Anupam. Uh, good morning. I am Anupam from Barabanki. I have got uh, 200 share Adani Enterprises at the rate 98.30. Okay. What can I do? I have a target uh, I hold uh, in six months. Six months. Okay. Uh, Samit, in the next six months, do you see um, Anupam recovering the loss that he's making on Adani Enterprises and head higher? Uh, what would your target price be? You would have a similar view uh, 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 with uh, IDFC also. Uh, Adani Enterprises, uh, since its uh, restructuring, uh, uh, it's been more than four to five months now. It's been moving within a very narrow range, uh, wherein 100, 105 has become a major resistance. Uh, going forward, if he has a six months view, then probably 108, 113 would be the levels. Uh, once uh, uh, this particular stock reaches uh, 108, 113, he can look to book his profits. Uh, as of now, he can maintain his position by keeping a strict stop loss below 84 on a closing basis. All right, uh, Samit, thanks so much uh, for joining in today. Uh, any disclosure, Samit? I don't hold any position in the stocks, uh, but uh, same view might have been shared with our clients. All right, thanks so much, Samit, for joining this morning and giving us your take on a couple of stocks. But let's move on to the big CNBC TV exclusive then. Shreyan for us higher on that exclusive then.